Alright guys, in this video we're going to show you how to connect your phone. So, for the first step we are just going to connect to the Bluetooth system. So we're not going to do wireless CarPlay or Android Auto just yet. So if you want to just click this Bluetooth app down in the bottom, you get this screen pop up. Just click on your settings here, and you'll see your device name. So you, this is the car kit link is the name you want to connect to, and your passcode or password is four zeros. So just on your phone, I'm using an iPhone, but it's pretty much the same for Android. Um, just go to your connections and your Bluetooth settings, and down the bottom you'll have a little, oh, on the iPhone at least, you'll have a little um, menu come up with other devices. Wait for the car kit underscore blink to show up. Now if it doesn't show up, just turn your Bluetooth off and back on again. Now you want to select that car kit blink, four zeros. Is your passcode. You can see there it's come up on the screen as pair success. Beautiful, my phone's come up now as paired. Now, um, for people who just want to use Bluetooth, um, you can have your phone book recorded down here. So just hit the phone book icon down here, you can see it's highlighted now. And then you just want to hit download, download the phone book. Um, if that doesn't work, you just want to go to your phone, go to your car kit link connection in your Bluetooth and hit the little blue eye that's next to it. Um, that'll bring up the info of the connection and you'll see an option there for sync contacts. So just turn that on and then you can get out of that on your phone I should say and then just hit that download the Bluetooth again and there we go. All the uh, all the your phone contacts will be in there now. You've got Bluetooth audio, so if you're playing music through Bluetooth audio, that's where you'll do it. Um, and you just got your phone connections there. You've got your dialer number, so you can just dial whatever number you like there and ring someone with the green button, hang up with the red button. Um, yeah, that's. Oops, that was me, sorry. Um, yeah, so that's just your standard Bluetooth. So you can uh, just use your standard Bluetooth if you like. Um, and you've got here, there's also some settings for your microphone gain and your volume gain. So your microphone gain, if people are complaining you're too loud or too quiet when you're talking on the phone, you can adjust it here. Uh, one important thing you need to worry about if you are going to adjust these, just hit the back arrow up here to bring you back to the home screen. Um, just to save that setting. So I'll just sort of give you a quick run through. If I put it on medium and then I hit the circle and go back in here, it still goes back to high. But if I go to medium and then hit the, the arrow to go back, that's the settings back on medium. So we've, it'll save it if you hit the back arrow to get out of it. Don't just hit the circle to get out of it. Uh, the Bluetooth data service will cover a bit later on, but that's just to connect up a, a data device. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is the T-Link app. So the T-Link app here will do your wireless CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. So once you've connected to Bluetooth, just open up the T-Link app, and it'll come up connecting, and on your phone you should see a, oh, on my iPhone at least, it comes up use CarPlay with T-Link. Just hit use CarPlay. Takes a second or two to connect up. All right, and now we have CarPlay opened up. So this is our CarPlay screen. This is our home screen. It shows us using Waze. Um, if you've got music playing, it'll come up in the background here. You can get a Spotify. Have a bit of a look through with Spotify. There's some music there. Um, you can play your music on Spotify. Your phone is also there. So you've also got your contacts here through your phone, your keypad, your recent calls, stuff like that. Um, yeah, so you just swipe across, bring that up to the home screen. Um, any apps that are installed on your phone that are compatible with CarPlay, you'll be able to use on the unit. So Waze and Sigi, Google Maps, Spotify obviously, the Listener Podcast app. Um, yeah, obviously Apple Maps is, is still on there as well. So we'll just hit Car. If you hit car down the bottom here, that'll bring you back to the home screen, and then you're back out of it. Um, 
So yeah, that's how to connect your phone. Android Auto is very similar. Um, you may find that you'll get stuck on the connecting screen. If that's the case, just go like this. Square, get, get out of the app. Close it down, and then go back into it. And that way it should connect back up. Um, you've also got your settings here. So in the settings, we've also got um, driver position, which just puts the, the menu tab on the left or the right-hand side. We default to the right. And again, you've got microphone gain for CarPlay phone calls. If there, if you other callers complaining that you're too quiet or you're too loud, then you can adjust it here. Um, you don't need to do anything special when you adjust this microphone gain. You can just go back, exit out of there.